welcome back to my channel and if you're joining us for the first time thank you for stopping by today we're making a pencil skirt i already have my basic skirt pattern here i'll be adjusting this to give us a pencil skirt pattern and in case you do not know how to make the basic skirt pattern not to worry i already have a video on that just check the description box below i'll leave a link to that tutorial now let's get on with our pencil skirt We have mainly three adjustments to do to this basic skirt pattern. I'll be taking 1.5 inch inward, 1.5 inward, and 1 inch here, then join them to the hip depth. That's all. So on the side seam, I'm marking 1.5 inches. The same thing on this side, 1.5 inches, and on the center back, just one inch. Now I'm to join this to the hip depth. I'm also moving the zipper allowance in by one inch. And here we have it. This is our pencil skirt. We're shaping it in now. The adjustment is mainly done on the hemline. But take note, when cutting this on your fabric, we have to slant out our M allowance. I hope that makes sense with what I'm saying. So the side seam goes like this. That means the hem allowance will come out. Something like this. This is because when we are sewing, we are going to be turning the hem allowance up. I hope you understood that. So basically, when you have a side seam slanted in, you should slant out the hem allowance. Side seam slanted in, the hem allowance should be slanted out. Side seam, center back seam slanted in, the hem should be slanted out. Simple. Now I'm going to cut this out. For the center front, we're cutting it on fold. So I'm going to fold a part of my Ankara. And I'll place my center front, center front on fold. That means this part is going to be on the fold. And pin it down. Adding one inch allowance to the side seam. And half an inch allowance to join the waist to the waistband. And now I can cut it out. Now 
always cut the center back. The center back doesn't have to be on fold. We already have our zip allowance here and I'm adding one inch to the side seam, just like the front. So I'm going to pin this down. Now I'm going to mark my dots for the back before removing the pattern paper. I'll take this to the machine now and sew my dots. After sewing the dots, I'm going to join the side seams together. Side seam of front and side seam of back. I'll pin them together. I'll take this over to the machine now to join the side seams. I've joined the side seams. Now I'll be joining the centre back. This is where the zip is going to be and my slit. For the zip, I'll be marking 7 inches down from the waistline. 7 inches. And for my slit, I'll be marking 8 inches up from the hairline. So now I'm going to join from here to here, leaving space for my zip and for my slits. After joining the center back, we can see our pencil skirt is already taking shape. Now I'm going to iron the center back. Now I'm just going to fold the hem allowance in and sew, then attach the band. I'll be folding one inch in and fold again because we have two inches allowance for the hem. Now I'm done with the hem. I've sewn the hem. And I've ironed it. I'm now going to attach the waistband. After attaching the band, I'm now going to attach my zip. I already have a video up on how to attach a zip. So in case you don't know how to attach a zip, you should. You can check that video out. And now I'm done. I've attached the zip. I have my slit, the band, the dots, and I'm done. See you guys in my next video. Ciao!
could try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange, yeah. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the 